All right, guys. So I was uh, I was playing with my new Hero Four last week on my quadcopter and crashed it. Now the camera is still turning on, but the screen function has stopped working, and it is draining my battery power about twice as fast as it normally would. So I think somewhere in there there's a busted wire or the connection to the screen. Uh, there's maybe broken solder, but we're gonna take it apart, see what it looks like inside. Um, I've already popped the face off, but just wanna show you real quick. So the camera does power on. I've got no SD card in right now, just the battery. Um, when you turn the camera on, regardless of having a card in there, the screen should turn on. It's not happening. This button right here enables and disables the screen, and that is not working. So we're going to see if we can fix that. Piece off. I'm going to go around the edge. I just used a really thin flathead screwdriver. You want to pop the plastic up and work it around the edge to get the all the little uh, hinges released and then you can pull the faceplate off. So I'm going to go ahead and power it down before we start dissecting this thing. Pull the battery out so I don't short anything else out. Okay, so now we got the battery out. Um, looks like there should probably be a little bit of adhesive on the back of the button just to keep the button in place. Also, once this is up, the button will stay in place too. But it looks like we have four little Phillips style screws. So I'm gonna begin with those first. So mm -hmm. okay. so the the cool. Okay, so all right, so just to note, looks like there are three long screws that come out, and then one tiny screw that comes out. The tiny screw is in the bottom left corner, the three long screws are in the top in the bottom right corner. So I don't see any other screws from this position, but I think now we're probably safe to uh, go ahead and maybe start taking the top plastic away from the circuit board. See if we can get in here and pop it up a little bit. Okay, let's break free. Still held in there a little bit by plastic. You can kind of feel some of the connection around the edge there. The break it apart, especially right here. There you go. Okay, it's like I'm slowly worked out. Again, it's still being kind of anchored. It's about more here. So I'm guessing the connections for the screen, maybe over on this side. Um, we'll find out whichever side wants to come out easiest. Oh, so it looks like they're on the other side. All right, so we can see here with the Hero 4 you know, taken apart, um, looks like there's quite a bit of ribbon cable that runs to the back of our battery housing. Um, I think it's, looks like it's just held down by adhesive. Um, you can see the ribbon cable running here that goes all the way back over to the circuit board. This controls our red LED at the bottom of the camera, our status LED. Um, there's another one actually run back behind this, this piece of the screen right here for that status LED in the front. Um, but what I'm looking for is what goes directly to the screen. What could have possibly gotten damaged on this bottom corner when it took the impact? Actually, 
I think I see my disconnection right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but here we have the screen disconnected actually from the camera and another piece right here. So I'm going to try and reconnect those today. That's going to be my goal. It's going to be very difficult. So looking from the front here, I can see a really, really broken piece of my plastic, probably from the impact as well. So that I may not fix. The only thing holding that together right now is adhesive. But below that you can see my ports for those ribbon cables that need to be plugged in. So very delicately, I'm going to try and reconnect those. So I'm going to try and remove this adhesive. And I'll stick it back later. Try to hold that piece back. See if I can plug those cables back in there. Trying not to pinch the ribbon cable. It's very, very, very delicate. While closing all the ports. There's that one. And now this one. I think that's another reason they have the adhesive. It's to close those ports. Make sure I get it up in there. It looks like I've made the connections. Assuming I did all that right. I'm gonna close the adhesive up so I can get the screen back down. Hopefully that'll hold the ribbon cables on there also. Putting the camera kind of back in position, back in place here. I'm gonna try and this side of the plastic over here. I'm making sure I'm keeping firm connection with the ribbon cables on that side. Okay. Okay. Snaps back on like so. My broken piece here on the corner. Hold that in place with the screen. It's probably gonna be the first screw I put back in. It's right there. So I'm not 100% confident in my work. Um, I'm actually gonna go and test this bad boy with it open. Um, just to see if it worked. And then we'll we'll close it up if it did. We'll slide the battery back in and close the battery bay. Um, get the power button to press. Camera boots up. Well, what do you know? All right, guys. So that's been it. We have a uh, fixed GoPro Hero 4 screen. Uh, due to a quadcopter crash. Um, also fixed my battery port. It looked like it was drawing a little bit too much current. Maybe a, a piece was unplugged. Um, so if you guys have this problem, now you know how to get in there and fix it. Just double check your ribbon cables. Make sure they're all plugged in here on this side. And um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.